Good morning, everybody. So I have lived with this really ugly floor in my kitchen uh, almost since I bought the place. <laughs> um, the kitchen will eventually be completely remodeled, and I'm doing it in small chunks, I guess. So this wall right here is a closet that goes out to the backyard. Um, and the laundry room is right back in there. The laundry room is new. That used to be like a storage area. Um, this house used to be a tea room. And that is where they had all their sanitation stuff. The opening here used to be on this side. But I have made it a coat area and our little coffee and tea area. And then added the closet. That area back in there is where my refrigerator and my stove are. And that will actually eventually be my bathroom. And so that whole area back in there will be kind of my utility area coming in from the backyard. Well, the other day I decided that I wanted to expose the wood floors underneath. Um, they are a sub floor, so there's nothing underneath them other than the crawl space. But I also know I'm going to put in hardwood floors throughout my house, but I financially I can't do that right now. But why not expose the original wood floors while I wait <laughs> to get enough money to put actual wood floors in? So I started pulling all this out. There's actually two layers of underlayment um, and then a layer of linoleum on top of that. But I discovered as I pulled them up, this very, very large crack right next to the wall coming into the house. Um, and there's, you know, no real great way to close that. And I'm thinking, gosh, how am I going to cover that up? So an idea has percolated. And you can see some chalk marks on the floor. And then I have these little boards that I kind of randomly put on the wall here. And that is my solution. I have a cat door that goes out this window here so that my cats can go into their catio um, so they can be outside but at the same time be safe. So this little idea that percolated is going to serve three purposes. One, it's going to cover up that crack going down into the crawl space. Two, it is going to basically offer some steps <laughs> for the cats to get up to their catio door. And three, it's going to be additional shoe storage. So there's this area right in the middle centered on the window that's bumped out a little bit further that will be perfect for tucking shoes into. Um, and then also, because it's going to be built up um, 15 inches off the floor, then there will also be a place to sit down and put your shoes on. So I'm pretty excited to continue moving forward with this and getting that little shoe storage, bench, stairs, <laughs> crack hider, <laughs> um, all built. And um, I'm also excited to expose more of this wood floor and just enjoy the rusticness of it um, and the history of walking on these floors that President Eisenhower and Mamie Eisenhower have walked on. So it'll be kind of cool to just experience and have that history um, and walking on that every day. So stay tuned.